Hi, my name is Francisco Montes. We are gonna be making one of my personal favorites, Kiss Your Mama Guacamole. So the ingredients for Kiss Your Mama Guacamole, it's um, some coarse sea salt or kosher salt, clove of garlic, some dry arbol peppers, they're kind of spicy. We're not gonna use all these, it'll be a little bit hard to eat, and avocado. First thing, you take a, a little a pinch of salt and the, the coarseness is gonna help with with mashing up the garlic and mashing up the uh, the peppers. Now these peppers, you, you put them on the hot, dry skillet, not long, just enough to toast it a little bit. You're gonna get some dark black spots on it and it's gonna start smelling. And I remember just being in bed and getting the smell of the roasted hot peppers. It made me wanna get up and, and see what was going on in the kitchen. So okay, so the uh, hot peppers go in there with the coarse salt, just another pinch. And take your pestle and just break it up, seeds and all. And garlic. And just. Oh, you can smell it. So Biwa Tequis, you know, you'll, you'll come in, you'll see our menu and you'll say, okay, tell the person taking your order, hey, I want to kiss your mama. Or, you know, tell them any of the other guacamole. It's like, they're all gonna be good, all gonna be made from scratch. And, you know, as soon as you order, we'll start, we'll start cutting up the avocados and Oh, this one's good. And making your guacamole. Now usually my mom would just put the, uh, the pit would go in there also. When it was all gone, we would fight over that pit. We put the pit on a tortilla and just clean it up with the tortilla and then we'd eat that. We would even take the tortilla and just clean up the, the, the mortar with it. So I got one avocado in there. I'm gonna go over here and get two more that I had peeled earlier. And see that one? It's got the pit in there. So that's gonna go in there. There you go. And we I don't I don't remember having guacamole for lunch or dinner. It was always it was always breakfast. And then there was this, this mortar that my mom had. I mean, it was used so much. It was used for everything. I mean, not just guacamole. She'd make some tomato salsa in here. She'd make, this was our blender. We, we honestly didn't have a blender growing up till probably till I was, I don't know, nine or 10. All right, so I think that's good. We got everything stirred up. So, so something else she make every single day, corn tortillas. And I got, I got some, some dough here and I, I, I hope I'm making them as good as she, as she did. But it was just amazing smells coming out of the kitchen every morning. So. Now they got fancy machines that make your tortillas for you and you just go, like in Mexico, you walk down to the tortilleria in the corner and get your tortillas. You can see the little specks of hot red pepper in there. It's the coolest part. I mean, I don't, I, I don't know how she did. She would get these things to inflate and you get like this the air inside it just popped them up this one looks like it's gonna yeah that was pretty simple you know just corn and water that's all it was now it's a process because she they started the day before cooking the uh, corn 
to get it ready for the next day. And then we take it down to uh, this guy who had a mill. It's a huge thing. And everybody from town went there to, to get their nixtamal milled up. That, got a little, that one's blowing up a little bit. But that's it. This is, this is Kiss Your Mama. And we wouldn't eat this with corn chips like you do here. So look, feel free to ask for tortillas instead of corn chips when you come in. And this is how you eat it. Make a little taco out of it. There you go. Let's see. Mmm. Yep. Yeah. That's good. This definitely brings back memories. Hey, one of my kids is here. All right, look. This is a kiss from your grandmother. A what? <laughs> <laughs> a kiss from your grandmother. Mm. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> right. You did great.